Woo! Artists, with our text, our color adjustments, our transformation of the scale of things, with lining them up with the addition of shadows, we basically got all the pieces coming together for a unique, fairly seamless whole. Like, the goal is all these limbs have come together to make our Frankenstein picture, and it's just about ready. I got the shadows in last video, and now I'm also going to do that same technique, the idea of like layering down some paintbrush strokes with a little blur tool and an adjustment of opacity on that layer to see through. I'm going to do the same for a little additional light. So you see hands here, those shadows disappear. Same technique, I put down some light. I used a kind of a slight purple. I lifted some of the colors. You know, lightened them, made a new layer. You know, did a little coloring like this here and there, like say along the sleeve of a coat, maybe blurred the edges a bit. Then brought down the opacity. And you can see if you trace along with my move tool here, all those little highlights that help bring out, say, the uh, the sort of like fabric, the wrinkles in my suit coat, put a little um, sort of a gloss, a highlight into my hair for a classier swoop, a little bit of reflected light on, say, my, my uh, headphones and my nose and the wire that is otherwise lost to the eye, right running down from my headphones into my lap. Let's turn that off again. Trying to help Im the image pop and to bring it all together, okay? I like that last bit of ornamentation. It's small, but a super cool detail to help it out. Now, let's finish it together. To conclude this project, you want to make certain that you've got yourself, your own face, however you want to portray yourself, as well as at least at least three pictures brought together for a, to, to create a new one in your album cover. Next, you'll need your title. Whatever you want to name it, with whatever font you want to put in there, let's see that too. Right? And lastly, you want to make certain that you've got your playlist. Now, if you haven't finalized it yet, no big deal. But remember, one track for each year of your life, plus a special bonus track. All right? Each track should provide a little insight into who you are, your history, like your personality, your humor. Okay? When you've got those together, you're going to save and submit it. Now, we'll go over how to submit the playlist later, but to submit this, you want to do two things. Go to File, Save as PSD. That's for you. Don't save it in that Downloads folder. Don't let it automatically save to your computer without knowing exactly where it's going. You want that backup on your desktop or in a special folder, say, labeled uh, Digital Art 2 or something, okay? So make it clearly labeled and make it safe and secure in a spot that you can find it easily in, okay? Don't leave it in that downloads folder because as we remember, Chromebooks will auto delete and like clean themselves up, purge those download folders about once a week. Right? So save that one as a PSD file, file for yourself, file, save as, PSD, okay? Save it and keep it secure. That's the one with all the layers that you might need to make changes with later. To submit though, and this is important, you're gonna go to export as, right? And this time you're gonna export it as a TIFF. So good here, save. Bam, let's take a look. There we go. It's looking great. And a TIFF is important because unlike a JPEG, it will save all the pixels highest fidelity possible. A JPEG image, to make those JPEGs universal and easily sent through emails or like uploads, it shaves some of those pixels off and loses some memory. And I want us all to get in the habit of preserving the fidelity, clarity, and quality of our images just as we made them, okay? Good luck, my friends. I look forward to seeing your designs.